Today, I am walking this damn runway in my underwear because why the fuck not? I've had a very up and down relationship with body image over the years. I would just look at a magazine and I would look at this photoshopped image and I would try and make my body look like that body. If my body wasn't perfect, then no one was gonna love me, no one was gonna think that I was a valuable human being or that I could contribute anything. There are days where I'm really feeling myself and then there are days where I just don't want to exist in the body that I live in. But I think this is really gonna put it to the test. Like, can I be body positive in front of an army of people practically naked? It's the morning of the show. We are very nervous. <laughs> this is real, like we're gonna do this. <laughs> I tried to shave everything that I could and I think at one point I like stopped shaving and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. When you watch Victoria's Secret fashion show, the joke is that all girls are crying and eating ice cream <laughs> because you want to look like that. From this experience, I want to learn for myself that I can be confident in my own body. I think I hope to gain a little bit of understanding that even though I'm goofy and fun, I am a very sexy, powerful person too. I transitioned when I was 13. Issues now with my body are a blessing. I'm most excited to be outside of my body and see myself walking down the runway and say like, hey, that girl's cool. Like, look at her. She's like super confident. Today, what I hope to gain is a little bit of bravery. I've definitely never walked a runway in my underwear ever because no one's given me an opportunity. I'm four foot 11, so I would never be allowed to model. I hope to gain like a newfound confidence because this is a side of myself that I don't really engage with. The reason I'm doing this isn't about my body, it's about representing a lot of other women's bodies. I feel like I've just gotten to a place where I feel comfortable expressing myself fully. You know, I'm a boss ass bitch, no matter what I'm wearing or lack thereof. It's not about promoting one type of body, but making sure that we're promoting all different types of bodies. All the empowerment that I'm gonna feel, I'm really excited to feel that because I feel like that's really needed right now. This might come as a surprise, but but I do not get mistaken for a Victoria's Secret model. I know you see me and you're like, oh my God, it's Gigi Hadid. Well, I'm really excited to show that we should all be given the chance to feel as beautiful as we actually are. I hope to gain a better understanding of where other women are coming from. Anyone out there that has a body type that I have, I'm hoping that they see me in my underwear and they're like, damn queen and they realize that they're just as beautiful as I am. I've been preparing by eating a lot of sweets. Walk, 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 turn around, drop it, yeah! I feel like we may be the first woman ever to walk a runway with unshaved armpits. Welcome to not shave our armpits or our legs, because we don't fly that way, and it's okay if you do. And I think that's what I love the most, is seeing how beautiful like everyone looks in their underwear, and like, everyone just looks so good. <laughs> Holy shit. These puppies are high. There's no turning back now, so <laughs> kill me now. I truly appreciate all of you coming here and supporting these lovely women. A lot of what I stand behind is just being yourself and just rocking what you have and just being confident. And I can't even tell you how awesome these women are and how awesome that we have this experience and this opportunity to do this, okay? Thank you, thank you. I may not look like I have body issues, but being trans, trust me, you do. Why should the Victoria's Secret fashion show limit any of us? When I hit the runway, it all comes down to your confidence. If you believe, then everyone else will believe. It's like this thing came over me and like every nervousness I had straight away and I was like, came to slay and slay I did. Before I heard the crowd, I was nervous. But then I heard the crowd, and so I think this was a very good beginning step for me. I feel like I blacked out, and I was like, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, like, this isn't really happening. And then that's when it hit me. Oh, okay, like, I guess this is who I am, and I am this, like, leopard print lady.
I hope that this can change the narrative for how women are viewed in the media. This was like my inner 13 year old who always watched ANTM that wanted to be a model. I got to shine tonight. The people in the audience, they weren't even there. I was just feeling myself. So I never really look at myself in the mirror and am just super confident and like, yes, I love your body, you're awesome. But this attire gave me that confidence. I honestly do feel a lot better about myself. When it really comes down to it, you really have to accept and love yourself. And I feel like that this whole experience really just helped me do more of that. I think it's one thing for me to work on loving myself by myself, but it's another thing entirely to then go and put what you've worked on out on display. I came, I saw, I conquered. Surprisingly, being in my underwear in front of all of my coworkers helped my confidence. Once you step onto that stage, there's a weird adrenaline rush that comes with everything. I just felt really excited and pretty and I loved everyone shouting my name. I think I gained definitely more confidence just being in front of people, being in front of a camera. definitely really nervous to show my stomach because I don't really ever show this much of my stomach especially because I have a five and a half month old baby but I felt like I was in good company and everyone was really supportive so it was a really good experience. I just did it! Oh my hand is shaking! The camera is literally shaking from my hand. Oh my god. We fucking did it! I feel super exhilarated and I don't want to put my clothes back on. We haven't. And then when I came back, I was like, oh my god, that's over. <laughs> so how many people were screaming yes. and excited? It made me feel so good. Yes. And now like, I know why models like this. It's yeah. very good for their self-esteem. Also, like, our boobs look good. Yeah, they do. They looked amazing, and it was so empowering. Uh, even I was emotional just seeing that. So it was so dope to see all of them be confident up there. This is yeah. more real. Also, and this yeah. is so realistic. Yeah. Like, I would wear the stuff that I saw. I, I don't know. I have so much respect for them, even more than before. They are the best. I look up to them, for sure. I think mostly what I'm taking away from today is that if you own it, if you believe in it, then everyone else will believe in it. And that each and every one of those Victoria's Secret Angels is capable of feeling insecure. This was incredible. This was a lot more empowering than I think I ever realized it would be. Having everybody here and cheering just reminds you that no matter what, there are people rooting for you. I am taking away a great sense of gratitude for all of my flaws. I am, like all the rest of these girls, embracing it and loving it. I love watching the Victoria's Secret fashion show. But yes, I wish they included more body types. I think today goes to show that no matter what you're wearing, no matter how your hair is or how tall you are, if you think you're beautiful, who cares what everyone else thinks? It's about how you feel. If you're happy and healthy, then that's all that really matters. Yeah.